Hi friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. That is if I actually get this up today. I've been working on this pretty much all weekend and well, I actually was prepping for this even before I got on break. And then just filming took a long time because my SD cards kept running out of storage and then I don't have my adapters so I'm editing this on my phone and let my phone ran out of storage so it's just been taking a really long time <laughs> to edit this so I'm so sorry. I wanted to do more of a monochrome, I guess more like black and white and gray theme for this January bullet journal setup. It is kind of more like a winter wonderland or just wintry theme that I was going for. What I did here is that you can see I wrote baby's cold outside on the left and I used cursive and then just my darker mild liner to write cold and like a bigger letter just to really emphasize how cold it is because it's winter time and I'm going to be in Spokane when I'm using this and it's very very cold there. And then here on the right I am just doing a little kind of doodle or sketch just because this is like the cover page for the January setup. And so I did in the darker gray mild liner, I did the background of the hills and the trees and the lighter gray mild liner. I did the hills that are closer with this little kind of cabin. I am going to be coloring in the farther back hill that is in the dark gray mild liner, as you can see there. And then I am going to be outlining the lighter gray hill and like the trees and the little cabin just to give it a little bit more of a pop just because I don't know I thought it looked good so I don't know I guess you guys can be the judge of that and then I am also going to be writing January in with this black pen this is kind of the only time that I use this just like all capitalized very minimal like font in this spread I usually use mostly cursive in this font I'm not or in this spread I'm not sure why I just kind of ended up doing that, but I thought it looked really good, just the simple, like, way that it was written, like, this font, I felt like, looked really good for this little spread part. And now, like I said before, I'm doing the outline, and then I am just doing the clouds. So what I did was I outlined some of the clouds that were kind of, again, like, in the front, making that a little bit lighter, and then the clouds that were in the back, or just, like, behind the ones that were in the front, are sketched in a little bit with just these like etchings that I did with the pen and then I'm going back over the cursive words that I did on the other side because I just wanted to make it look more like it was calligraphy and just give it a little bit of a like prettier vibe I don't know I don't really like how just like the flat how flat it looks when it's just normal cursive so I like shading in certain areas if that makes sense and then here I'm just taping down the white paper because I am going to be using black paper for the monthly spread as you can see here and so here I am using that white pen. It honestly was not as good as I was hoping. It still worked out well. It's just sometimes it would stop working and I have to go back over it. And also I didn't have a ruler. So I was just using the straight edge of a journal that I had. And that was me checking to see if like you could actually tell because obviously you can see the pencil marks that I made. But I wasn't really sure how well the white was showing up and a lot of the lines aren't that straight because at first I tried to do it without a ruler and then it just kind of was going all over the place I don't know I'm I try and make things look like as best as I can and try to be perfectionist at times about certain things but sometimes it just does not work out so here it's like I'm getting close to finishing up and then also I later realized that the bottom was slanted like I made the calendar slanted so what I did was I tried to make the calendar look like it's kind of like 3d like if you'd seen Amanda Ra Amanda Rachel Lee I believe her a lot of her bullet journal spreads she does that little highlight or like shadow and so that's kind of what I did just to hide the slant and kind of get rid of it and because I also was kind of making the lines look really thick on the right side so it just overall that helped a lot then here I'm running January and then I'm just going to be going in, writing the days of the week, as well as going to write the, the numbers of the day. And as you saw right there, I was testing the pen because it was not working. I mean, it wasn't a terrible pen, but it just wasn't working as well as I had hoped. <laughs> also, I am 
Oh, goodness. I am recording or doing the voiceover for each part, like, separately, and I'm, like, going over them. I'm sorry. Like, you can kind of hear the microphone <laughs> on my shirt because I'm just using my headphones, so I'm hoping that this new way I'm sitting will fix that. But, yeah, as you can see here, I'm just working more on the calendar, and sorry I didn't re- like record the voiceovers but I've just been working on this for a really long time <laughs> I'm really happy just to kind of have it over with also I added an extra box by accident because I just really wasn't thinking about like the number of days in January and so as you saw there I had drawn like a little picture there because I didn't know what to do and I didn't really want to draw like on the bottom of the calendar like I was planning on doing so I just drew a little bit there just to give it something extra because that page was honestly very minimalist then see, you can see here that I am taping it in, and then I am flipping to the next page, and for some reason, the black just did not want to, like, like, the black paper did not want to fold correctly, and then it just bent weirdly, even though I had already folded it well enough by that, but I guess not. And here, I am now working on the first weekly spread I'm doing. I'm not starting on the 1st of January, like, for these weekly spreads, I'm starting like two weeks in I believe because or like on the third week no this is the sec second week yeah I believe so because I don't go back till the 12th about so I was like why like put in time to make bullet journal spreads that I'm not going to use because I don't really use my bullet journal unless I'm in school so here I did like more of a minimalist vibe again and I just cut out the pieces of the black paper and I wrote the days of the week on them just doing the little um, abbreviations of the days of the week and then I'm just taping them there as you can see in the darker gray mild liner I did like these little lines to separate each day of the week and then the lighter gray mild liner I wrote the numbers I don't know why this is just one of my favorite more easy setups it's super simple to do and it just looks nice and it's very well organized so I like it a lot and then here I am Drawing the silhouette of a deer and just coloring it in with the dark gray mild liner. And then I also did trees up there in the corner. And I'm just going over them in black pen as well as going over the January again. Just to make it look a little bit nicer like I talked about before. I'm not really sure what my voice just did there, but um, that's okay. So yeah, I'm just finishing up that January right there. And then I'm not... What did I do next? I guess I'm just kind of going over it a little bit more. Showing you guys the finished product of that week. And then moving on to the next spread. Honestly, I think this one was my favorite one. I only did two weeks um, on film because it was taking so long. But I cut out the black papers again. And then I wrote the numbers instead. So I kind of flipped it. So I wrote the days of the week on top. And then the number of the day on the bottom in the black. So it's like a opposite of what I did last time for the last weekly spread. Also, don't worry that it's blurry right now because I just did that to be artsy and it will be changed very soon. Uh, yep, there it is. And I usually do most like the weekly spreads, like the weeks horizontally, if that makes sense. Like I did in the last weekly spread here, I'm doing it vertically just to change it up a little bit. And then I'm using these pieces of the black paper that I ripped out. To make it look like kind of hills so you're like seeing the silhouette of some hills so i'm just taping those down and then i am outlining the boxes for like where i'm going to write my to-do list for that day essentially i like to write down what homework i need to do or like what events i have just within those boxes which is really nice and i like to make it like a checklist so i make like little check boxes and then I write down like the event or whatever on the right so that when I'm done with it, like my homework or whatever I had, then I just check it off. And then now I'm writing the initial of the days of the week just because I didn't really want to write them all out like fully. So I just really quickly wrote like an S for Sunday and M for Monday and such like that. Here I am drawing a cabin again on the hills just because I thought it'd be cute. And then I'm going to add some smoke like there is a fireplace in there that they are like have I don't know it just reminds me of like winter time because I like being cozy by the fireplace but also love seeing the snow and I just think that's really beautiful and then you can see here I decided to draw a little path there because I just thought that'd be really fun and cute I don't know and then 
I'm using my light gray mild liner just to make dots everywhere to try and make it a little bit look like snow, if you can kind of tell on the screen. Hopefully it picks up a little bit. And then I am pretty much done. That's all I did. I am just going over again my spreads. This definitely was one of my more favorite ones. I like the black and on white and the white on black. It just is very like simple but also really nice with like all the little doodles I did. And I'm just so glad that it turned out well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that your new year is wonderful. Mm -hmm.